Greetings RC fans, Sharky here and welcome back to Sharky's Garage. Now, today is going to be interesting. It's a video that I've been promising to do for a while and I have bought something, which you'll probably see from the title of this video, that I have been meaning to buy for a while. Why have I eventually bought it? Well, about two years ago I bought a Nissan 350Z um, drift car, um, one tenth scale of Facebook Marketplace. I did a video on it, a couple of videos on it, um, and I had somebody from America contacting me wanting to buy it. Um, we eventually agreed something and it's been posted and sent off to him. But the money from that actually paid to buy the Sky RC GNSS performance analyzer that this video is about. I'd also said that I was going to test the speed of the Subaru with the stock uh, nickel metal hydride battery versus the WL Toys uh, LiPo battery that comes with several of their rigs. Well, I might as well go out and test both of these, uh, the Subaru with both batteries, the other one with the other, and get you some speed runs from that and start putting some speed run data together. So that's what today's video is about. Don't forget to do the usual things, like, comment and subscribe, and then we'll get into the meat of the video. So, this is it. Sky RC GNSS Performance Analyzer. Study racing flight performance in a scientific way. I may even try this in my car to test it against my Speedo. But anyway, um, Tommy RC has one of these, has had some really good results. As per usual, I go over the box because that's me. GNS Performance Analyzer allows you to measure and analyze many aspects of your RC car, airplane and performance using the latest GNSS engine, G GPS GLONASS, which gives you acceleration, G-force, speed, distance and time. This device uses a barometric pressure sensor to detect the high above the ground level. It can measure peak altitude up to 29,500 uh, feet, 9,000 meters. You do need to download the app from either the App Store or Google Play. I've already done that because I've got it on my uh, phone already. Those are the details. Okay, let's see what's actually inside the box. Well, as you know from the other bit, I've already pulled it out. And inside the box, you literally get nice foam packaging. You get the analyzer, you get the power cable, which is a standard USB with one of those on the end of it. You get the little unit itself. Okay, which has the charging. I have charged it up already so that we can use it. Um, I'll deal with the actual using of it when we're outside, I think. But uh, we'll see how that goes because I'm going to break my other phone out in a minute and show you the app. Um, so that's that. You get your instructions. Think you're fast, prove it. Tells you about the power, satellite, Bluetooth, um, how it all works. Okay. Charging the device, make sure the battery charges for its first use and check the battery capacity after every use. Gives you the how to pair it with the analyzer app and mounting the device. Now, when it comes to mounting the device, um, it says here, the antenna can, receive, antenna can receive signals through glass and plastic, but not metal or other conductive surfaces. To avoid interference, ensure the antenna is not covered or shielded by any metallic object. Make sure the surface is clean, remove and dirty debris. Use hook and loop tape to secure the device to the surface. The device uses barometric pressure sensors to set altitude, so it needs to be exposed to air pressure. Don't put it in an airtight container. Well, we're not going to use it for that. It's got a lot more on the back about all the features, about how to uh, do the drag, um, track flying. What am I going to use to connect it? Well, I'm going to use 3M command strips. Um, I've already cut two, which is actually one of these long ones in half and the end cut off because those two together are actually 
the same size as that. So that's going to be stuck onto there and that's how I'm going to mount it onto the um, various vehicles that I am testing. Right, let's get on with the app. Right, so when it's downloaded, you get the Sky RC uh, Gears, which is the app. RC Gears. So you've got GNSS performance hours. It also runs the corner weight system, the center of gravity and axle meter, the digital camber gauge. It has an ESC link, uh, thermo, thermo login duo as well. So we're going to press this one. Choose your device, which hopefully should trigger this. Turn on. So selected it, it's got 72% battery. Um, you can see there, we've got two lights on, which according to this piece of paper, says it's the power and the Bluetooth, so it's connected. Um, for doing the various runs, you can select whether you want uh, drag, track or flying. Well, we don't want flying, we're going to want drag. Customise test distance. Uh, no. Or is it track? Track. Uh, we want to change it to choosing. I need to play with the settings on this, but you can see now that when we've got it up in that, it's then collecting the green button, which means that um, it's connected to the satellite, even though we're indoors at the minute. Um, <coughs> and you've seen Tom Lee run these. I need to learn out how, how to make it work. Uh, units, I want it in miles an hour. Records. I think this is where it comes up. So I need to have a play with this off camera. We're at six minutes now. We're going to do some speed runs with this outside when it's all set up and done. So I'm going to stop the video now. I'm going to learn how to use it. And then I'm going to come back to you when I'm actually doing the speed runs. Sometime later, uh, I don't know how well you're going to see the screen. I'm probably going to have to move it into the shadow over here for you to see it. But um this is a gift from phil at tomley rc he 3d printed one of these for his when he lost his um off of a vehicle at high speed and broke the case so that's a protective case to put this in which i would mount up at some point um i'm using 3m command strips on the bottom here and on the vehicles to do that. I'm going to run the WL toys around for a bit because I've got two batteries for that. There's one in there so I'll put a fresh battery in to do the speed run. I'm going to have a little play with this on this to get the hang of it and then we'll do the speed runs with this <laughs> and then mount it up inside the Charisma body shell. Put the pins on normally you don't need to take this off because you can access the battery from the bottom here and we'll do runs with the nickel metal hydride and with a fresh WL toys because I've now got three of those batteries um, which is fantastic so I'm gonna have a little play with it and get back to you once I right I've been doing some testing and so far we've got 19 mile an hour Take this into the shade so you can read it. So, selecting track, we've got 12 satellites showing. Select start. I'm gonna put the buggy down, line you up. 
I've been having trouble flipping it over, so I'll try not to do that. Probably not going to see this because it's a really long way away and it's really small. That's flat out. And I flipped it over. I haven't successfully managed to get a run going the other way yet. Here we go. Flat out. And uh, I'll go and get the meter. There's that. Because it will be under the shell. So. Taking this into here. Let's see, stop, read, and we've got 19 miles an hour. Okay, where's the top speed? So I'll now switch over to the Charisma and we'll start off with the nickel metal hydride battery and see what we get on that. Right, we're now going to do the Charisma Rally Car. We can see that we've got the 7.2 nickel metal hydride that I've just put in. You can just about see down the side there, it's got the uh, GNNS inside. So I'll put the cover on and then we'll... Right, all put together. Turned on. Track mode, selected, start. Far more controllable than the little one. That's flat out. On the nickel metal trot, a high drive. And flat out going the other way. A lot more controllable. Right. Pressing stop. Let's take it into shade. And pressing read. 16 mile an hour on the nickel metal hydride. So the WO Toys is brushed, this is brushless. Um, 16 mile an hour on the nickel metal hydride. We'll now switch over to the LiPo and see what... Right, it's now got the LiPo with it. It's a 2S LiPo, 400 mAh, 20C. We're set up in track mode, pressing start. Still got 12 satellites. Oh. Much quicker. Oh, flipped it and knocked out the mater. I will put it back inside and we'll take another run. Uh, that was my fault. I tried to turn too fast without easing off the thrust. So I did get a reading on that, which is 22 mile an hour. We'll see whether it backs up by doing it again. Start, it's reading. I just need to get a little bit more because it's so much faster. So let's get it there. Whoop.
Right, so because of how I pushed it down, we've got a, a stuck axle here. I'm just going to... That was a me problem. It's all sorted now. It's much faster. Flat. And again, I have to ease off flat and it's come out again. I'll go and collect it and see what it says. Because it looks like the extra weight of it and the speed of it, I've got to ease off of it again. But if it backs up to 22 mile an hour, uh, if it goes higher, I'll put it back in, we'll take another run. So, back into the shade, because we've actually got an uncomfortable. Right, so, stop, read, 22 mile an hour, flat out. So, I'm going to have a play with it without the speed meter on. But it was 19 mile an hour for the WL Toys. We had several runs at that. The nickel Metal Hydride in the Charisma was 16. And with the 2S LiPo was 22 mile an hour. Now the nickel Metal Hydride is 7.2 volts. And the, nickel metal, and the LiPo is 7.4. But you're gaining 6 mile an hour. But if you look at it. Um, 7 and 7 is 14, 3 7s are 21, you're gaining an extra third of speed. So running it on these little batteries is really, really good. Just prior to this, you should have seen a slide from the new spreadsheet. I've started to store all of the speed run data from all of my vehicles over a period of time. Um, obviously that will build over a period of time. Today's fastest is obviously the Subaru and the top speed of 22 mile an hour. Um, WL Toys on the LiPo um, was second on 19 and the nickel metal hydride, the stock battery that comes with these Subaru or these uh, Charisma uh, C, uh, GT24s um, is 16 miles an hour. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave us something down in the comments section and I'll catch you all again soon.